<laughs> who led the league in home runs <laughs> the largest percentage of their career this is let's go let, i mean let's go folks welcome to the baseball brew hall we got trivia of course this is the question that you wanted to know so <laughs> we're gonna do it right here so i feel like is there more to this question, or is it just? Is there's a, there's a little bit more, but but yeah. not a whole lot. This is kind of what it is. So, um, so these six home run hitters, known for mm-hmm. hitting home runs, mm-hmm. led their league in home run the most number of times. Okay. Right. Uh huh. So now we're taking a look at these six mm-hmm. and. And going based off each of their careers, mm-hmm. who led the league in home runs, their league in home runs, mm-hmm. the most percentage of the season. So if they played 10 seasons and they led the league three times, 30%. 30%. Sure, okay. So bust out the calculator, start thinking. Which one of these is not like the other, Gavi Cra- Cravath? <laughs> This has got to be he's leading the league with like six home runs a year. Yeah, right. Uh huh. So I'm thinking. Um. All right. What are you going with here? <laughs> I feel like it's hard to go against Babe Ruth. It sure is. Mm-hmm. Um. But Gabby, I mean, there's something about Gabby that's just. I feel like I want <laughs> it. Just it calls to you, doesn't it? <laughs> it calls. It called, so I'm going with Gabby mm-hmm. Cravath. Yeah, <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm with you. I feel like Babe Ruth is right there, but then at the same time, you have like you did have sort of this era of some home run hitters. Like you had um, Rogers Hornsby was hitting a bunch of home runs, mm-hmm. kind of in and around this period of time. Yeah. Um, um, Ralph, Ralph Kiner, I know did it like eight years in a row. Um, I think I'm actually going to go, I'm going to actually go with Kiner here. Okay. It feels a little odd to leave Babe Ruth out, but I think I'm going to go with yeah, Kiner. Well. Okay. So here we go. Saddle up folks. We have percentages for all of these. Okay, fun. Okay, love it. Um, we're going to start in in last place here. Mm-hmm. Um, Killebrew and Mel Ott tied for last place. Six out of twenty two years, twenty seven percent. I'll just say, and just so you know, your pronunciation was spot on. Cravath. 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 Yeah. Hitting home runs into the crevasse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so, tie, so, yeah, tied for last was Mel Ott and Harmon Killebrew. Mm-hmm. Behind, just ahead of them, um, Mike Schmidt, 44%, <laughs> 8 out of 18 years. Okay. Cool. And then we've got Cravath. Six of 13 years, 46%. And then in second place, Mm -hmm. Babe Ruth, 67%. And then that leaves in first place, Aaron's choice, Ralph Kiner, who led the league in home runs seven times out of 10 years. He only played 10 years? Apparently. Looking it up. Look that up while sure you did. Wow. soak in sure that did. victory. Wow. Yeah, there it is. Seven times in ten years. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man. There you go. Never won an MVP. How about that? Double digits. We haven't seen double digits. If you look at the scoreboard, mm-hmm. it doesn't accommodate double digits very well here. Yeah, we're leaking. But- we're leaking but, out to the side. <laughs> trust me, <laughs> folks. It's ten, it's ten to eight. You can also do the math by adding the individual inning scores there. Right. Yeah, a lot of zeros to help you out there um, with that yeah. math. 
So I'm just looking here because he had he had his best year MVP voting was 1949. He got fourth um, and finished behind Ted Williams, Phil Rizzuto. No, wait, is that right? Did I, did I do that right? Oh, sorry, that's the wrong. That's AL <laughs> MVP. Uh, Jackie Robinson, Stan Musial, Ina Slaughter all finished ahead of Mr. Ralph Kiner. Boy, Jackie Robinson had himself a season, but there's some good some good seasons out of those folks right there. But well, there anyway. you go, folks. Yeah. Anyway, we just we did some difficult math there, some statistics. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Take it. Take a, a long winter's nap. <laughs> and this, it's Christmas Eve tomorrow, folks, and we got ourselves a Sunday showdown. A yeah. collection of questions. We do, and I just wait, Adam and I are both um, college graduates. And, you know, sometimes you take math classes and you wonder, how am I ever going to apply this in life? You're looking at it. You're You're looking looking at it. it. This is why you go to college, folks, right here. Well, (laughs) with that, (laughs) we'll see you later. (laughs)